Hey guys, Austin back with another video. Um, we are heading to the school for the musical. Um, I'll pick it up when we get there.
necessary. What a handsome man that was. So kind and generous. That is but not a man. That is Prince Topher, the slayer of giants and dragons. He has just returned to us from university. He is to be crowned king. That man? A world leader? But he appears to have a heart, mind, and soul. It can't be. <laughs> Marie, you're crazy. Yes, I am. But that does not change the fact that he is our very own Prince Topher, and he has returned to be our ruler. Look at your coin. Why, it is him, from the left. And he's such silly ears. The crown doesn't help things. He should wear a floppy hat. <laughs> Here, Marie. Please take this coin and buy yourself something warm to eat. Thank you, Ella. Why is it always the very poorest who are the most generous? It breaks my heart. Here is our Jean-Michel. He will spout gibberish now and bore us. <laughs> nice. Good day, Jean-Michel. And you know why the poor are the kindest, Ella and Crazy Marie? No, but I have a feeling you're about to be most forthcoming. Because it is a corrupt system with a smash moral compass. You will forgive me if I just stagger about and mutter, 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 mutter. <laughs> Today, I will be going to the castle, alone, to protest the corruption that riddles our government. You must come with me. Cinderella! That's Madame! Emma Stephen! I shall shout to the prince. You will have no choice but to listen. Cinderella! You are in harm's way. I have a vision for what this kingdom could be! Cinderella, help me with my cars in this instant. Cinderella, lazy stepdaughter, help me with my package. Careful! No one knows the extreme torture I am subjected to. I'm ignoring that. Charlotte, Gabrielle, come, daughters, come. We're here, Mama. We're exhausted being as beautiful as we want. Cinderella, idle girl, help your stepsisters with their shrewd purchases. Into the house, daughters. The real ones. Madame isn't always terrible. Not ever I want to be. mother and father passed away and left you in my charge, I promised them that when you came of age, you would be prepared for your reign. I know, Sebastian, I know. And trust me, I, I am ready to be king. It's just, uh, the thing of it is, I don't even know who I am yet. I'm sure it'll come to you. Until then, might I suggest faking it? <laughs> really? You wouldn't be the first. And you wouldn't be the last. To the castle? To the castle. Still this question. Nag, 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 nag. Oh, not you, Buttercup. Sometimes I just wonder. Me, who am I? Afar from perfect guy. 
selection process right there. If you can't afford a nice dress, you have no business marrying a prince. Now, all the guests will be in masks. You will dance with every girl, and at the stroke of midnight, all the guests will remove their mask, and you will have find yourself a bride. That's fast. <laughs> King and queen on the throne, I'm there to guide you through all your decisions. It's really a win-win. How is any woman going to fall in love with me so quickly? A valid question, which we will answer sometime soon. Now, Lady Pingleton, I want you to tell this to all. A pronouncement, yes. an announcement. <coughs> His Royal Highness, Christopher Rupert, Wait, well, please, with don't the say Mayor Vladimir, Carl Alexander, so Francois Reginald, Lancelot Herman. Herman? Herman. Gregory James is keeping up all. Sebastian Francis, can we talk about this please?
Uh, she has just run off. The lady, she has left in a golden carriage. We must find her. After her! Thank you. 